If you're in the market for a new television, you're in luck. New TVs are due to come out just in time for, can I say the Super Bowl, the big game yeah, next month. That one. Uh -huh. And of course, they're better than anything we've ever seen before. They're always better. Each time they come out with something, it's always better than what we had before. And, you know. <laughs> exactly. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, is at the Consumer Electronics Show this week, where all of the major TV makers are unveiling new flat screens you're sure to want. Screens are what everybody talks about and what everybody wants here at CES. Take a look at this. I'll bet you've never seen screens as thin as that, literally paper thin, so they can put them in just about everything. Televisions, again, very popular, and TV screens getting thinner too. The trend now is making televisions that are hidden or disguised when they're not being used. LG will release these 65-inch OLED TVs that roll up or down into a cabinet. And these sets are not much thicker than a credit card. But while thin may be in, picture quality is key. And it seemed for a couple of years, several, a little while ago, only people only cared about how thin their TV was. Picture quality wasn't important. But a, couple, a year or two ago, high dynamic range or HDR came out, Dolby Vision, picture quality became important again. Samsung, LG, and TCL are making huge screens now that, when they're not on, appear to be artwork. The picture quality allows them to look like beautiful pictures, down to a virtual picture frame. But here's what's interesting in their research about millennials. They don't have TVs all over the house. They have one main TV and every other room has a tablet in it. Now some of the TVs here at CES won't be released until later this year. Some will be released anytime in the near future. The good news for most of us is that after CES, these companies will drop the prices of the TVs they have in stores right now. From CES in Las Vegas, I'm Jamie Tucker, and that's What the Tech. Now those rollable televisions are coming out sometime this spring. LG has not said how much they'll cost, but it's reported they'll cost in the tens of thousands of dollars.